Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to play PS2 games on your Apple Silicon Mac. That's Macs with M1, M2, M3, and M4 chip. Alright, so here we have the PCS X2 PS2 emulator that is open source. You're going to go to PCSX2.net. You're going to go to latest stable, click the arrow for the drop down, and you're going to download the Mac OS version, which as a time of recording this video, it's version 2.4.0. Once you have that downloaded, you are going to need a PS2 game, obviously, to play. You can either take a physical copy of a game you own and convert it into an ISO and rip it basically to use with the emulator. Or you can do what I did and download it off the internet. I cannot provide links to where I obtained the copy of GTA San Andreas that we're going to be playing today. But hey, if buying isn't owning, piracy isn't stealing, am I right? So once you have your game downloaded, you are then going to need a BIOS for the PS2, which you were supposed to dump from a physical PS2 that you own. You can also acquire it from the internet. Once again, can't tell you where I obtained it, but it's a pretty easy Google search away, just like the games are. So once you have the PCS X2 emulator downloaded and you have your game file downloaded and you have your PS2 BIOS, you are going to go to wherever you downloaded the PCSX2 emulator 2 and you are going to click it it's going to extract once it's extracted you are going to hold down the control key and right click and then press open are you sure you want to open it press open okay welcome to PCSX2 language system language default theme native enable automatic updates is here you can check this if you want automatic updates next PCSX2 requires a PS2 BIOS in order to run. You are going to click browse and you are going to go to wherever you have your PS2 BIOS downloaded. You are going to click the folder and you are going to press open. And for this, we're going to select the USA BIOS and press next. Okay, so we now need to create a folder where we want our games to be located. To create our games folder, we're going to go to wherever we want our games folder to be located. We're going to press new folder and we're just going to call it games. Okay, we now have our games folder. This is where all our games that are extracted will be placed. Press open. Yes, we would like to scan the folder. Just press yes on this. We are then going to drag the game ISO that you downloaded into our games folder that we just created and we can now close our downloads. We're going to press next. For controller type, make sure you have DualShock 2. I have my PS5 controller already connected to my Mac. As you see, it just popped up there via Bluetooth. You can connect your controller either using a USB-C cable or you can connect via Bluetooth like I have on a PS5 controller or PS4 controller. All you need to do to put it in Bluetooth pairing mode is hold the share button and the PlayStation button while the controller is off until the light bar begins rapidly flash it. or you can just connect it directly via a USB-C cable. Now that we have our controller connected, we can select automatic mapping and then select the DualSense wireless controller from the drop down menu. We can press next. Then we can now finish. And as you see, we have GTA San Andreas right here, ready to play. But let's go into settings and let's look at a few things. Okay, so BIOS, you can select a different BIOS here. If you have a different region, let's look at the emulation tab. These are the settings you're gonna want. Graphics, if it's Apple Silicon, make sure you have metal selected and adapter, obviously select the chip. And the rest of these settings, where you're going to leave as default for now. Now let's go down to memory cards. Let's create a memory card. Call this one YT. You can also change the size of your memory card here, but for now we're just going to go with the 8 megabyte and press OK. And we now should be good to get out of the settings and double click GTA San Andreas. Here we go. We now have GTA San Andreas loading up here. You can see in the bottom right corner we have our metal 
graphics, the resolution, the FPS, and the speed at which the game is running. You can mess around with the resolution settings to like upscale it. So you could probably upscale this to 1080p and still get good performance. But for now, for this video, we're just gonna leave the settings at mostly stock. And I can confirm my controller is working. We are now at 30 FPS because it's running as it would natively on a PS2. And just finishing loading up here. Francis International Airport, Liberty City, 1992. And here we go. We got GTA San Andreas running on the M4 Mac Mini. Like I said, you can mess around with the settings, change the resolution, get it up to 1080p or higher probably, make it a 16 by 9 widescreen. And yeah, you guys can enjoy your favorite PS2 games on your Apple Silicon Mac. That is how you play PlayStation 2 games on your Apple Silicon Mac with the help of the PC SX2 emulator. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And I'll see you guys later. I might mess around with this a little bit. This game never actually beat it, but I have played it. A hell of a lot and let me tell you this looks better at 640 by 448 than the not so definitive definitive edition